where people are asking me, can they juggle studying and working? Like not, not juggle studying and working. Can they pay their school fees on their own as a single person? Not someone that has a partner now. Yes. Because, you know, if you have a partner, and, you know, it's possible. It is possible. Okay. So for me, I just felt like that it's been easy mm. and hard mm. that you're coming home. Everything has stressed you out. You don't want to be massaging your legs. Leg. Nobody. <laughs> you wouldn't survive if you're single. No, no. That's not it at all. So See, guys, the same clothes. Well, we have a guest on our channel. <laughs> we have a guest on That's our channel true. and she's here to answer some of your interesting questions, yes? Can, can you tell us what, you're, what you do here in Australia? Um, okay, so I... I'm currently in school, getting a master's degree in UTAS. And there are point. advantages and disadvantages of it. Mm. One advantage is if you are with somebody, you have dual income. <laughs> How has being single affected your studies? It's just been, you know, you come back from school. Yeah. You're studying. You don't have to be thinking about, oh, I have to make food for these people. Yeah. I have to make food for husband. For me, it can just be that, okay, I'm coming back from home. I'm going to stop at McDonald's. I'll pick up dinner. Pick up dinner. And that, I would say it hasn't really affected me as much as if you were married and you had to cater for that. Yeah. So I would say it's... I feel like Is there own too much? Do they overdo? <laughs> or you feel like it's just enough? <laughs> I feel like... Hi guys, hi guys, welcome, welcome, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Lola Lolita. If you're seeing baby girl for the very first time, welcome back, guys. Guys, it's official. We have a guest on our channel. <laughs> we have a guest on our That's channel, true. and she's here to answer some of your interesting questions. Yeah, so uh, I'll allow her to introduce herself. Welcome back. I do videos about study, lifestyle vlogs and everything in between so stay tuned and hello i'm perpetual i live in australia moved here not too long ago um i've lived here for about a year now and it's been an interesting journey i would say okay so let's all right on to it. that's it <laughs> let's get right into the video guys so guys before we start the video officially i would like to put a disclaimer out there all the opinions we are sharing in this video I think are just ours only and yes yes personal yes. from personal experience yeah. so take it with a is it grain of salt they say uh, yeah. just yeah. disclaimer we are not giving yes. any financial advice or schooling advice or anything we're just talking based off of our experience yes here in australia yes so please do your own research and, and make try sure and find out on your own uh, yes okay so Thank we you. can get into the this video now yeah feel free okay okay so um can you tell us what you are, what you do here in australia um okay so i i'm currently in school getting a master's degree in utas i um, started last year so currently i'm on my the beginning of my first second year and it's been going well, actually. So working part-time and doing school. So balancing both of them. That's good. Okay. So um, I think we'll just jump right into the questions. Oh, okay. The first question, I'll ask that and then we'll... Have a conversation. Yes. Okay. Yes. So someone asked, uh, Realtor Afi said, thank you for this video. No. Thank you for this, Lola. It's quite insightful. Please, I would love to know the experience of people who migrated as students, especially someone who is single. Thank you. So that question brought about this video, okay? So I'm hoping you are watching or you're going to watch this video, right? Okay. So, yeah. okay. how would so, you like to answer that question? <laughs> I feel like every everyone would probably have a different idea of how this whole being single would affect them, but... It's hard being in a new country without family. It's not, it's not easy. True. Even though you say, okay, you have um, your brother or your sister, it's different from, you know, your family is really... And even sometimes, I know people who live in the same country, but my brother lives in Melbourne. Melbourne is like an hour flight from me, but can I just wake up in the evening and say, I'm, I'm going, going to, to Melbourne. Brother. Because, yeah. guys, <laughs> for context, we live on a main, no, on an yeah. island. Yeah. So it's not like you can just wake up and drive to Melbourne. You can take the spirit of Tasmania, but you have to book or yeah. something. So it's and not that, that easy. And that is a 
10 and be 14 hour journey <laughs> so it's it's a it's it's it's, it's, a, it's a whole experience because yeah, it feels like you're in a different country from the, from the rest of australia because yeah. we're on an island there on the mainland so there's no road that connects us yeah. you have to either take yeah. flights or go by boat yeah okay yeah so, so i think for people who come as singles when you don't have anyone it's hard because first of all even though Australians official language is English, so everyone speaks English, but there's this whole idea of, first of all, you are in a place where you don't know anyone. But so you're trying to still make friends. You're still trying to like get used to a, the different culture shocks that everyone has. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, the mm. whole dynamic of, I'm in a different country. Yes. So I feel for me personally being single, I yes. would say, it's hard, but it's very possible. And as much as you spend more time going out, seeing, you know, going to school, making friends, it becomes easier. It does become easier. You but there are point. advantages and disadvantages of it. Mm. One advantage is if you are with somebody, you have dual income. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. You have Fair dual enough. income. Fair enough. You have like Sometimes when like things will happen during your day, you have someone who to, you're coming home to, to, to share and share about, you know, this has happened today. And that person might have insights of how, okay, next time this is what, what you, you should, should do. do. Maybe this is how you can avoid it and things like that. So Fair it's, enough. It's very interesting if you're single, you can, you know, get to learn the culture. You can get to learn the, a different dating scene from what you're used, used to. to. Yeah, so I think True. that would be something. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, that's the first one. experience of people who migrated as students. Yeah, so. Okay, how how has being single affected your studies? I don't know if that question makes sense. Because she asks like mm, experience of I people don't... who migrated as students. So how has has it helped being a student? Oh yes. That... Oh yes. Um so not if you're married, it doesn't mean that it's going to be very difficult for you. But yeah. I can't imagine juggling school and children. Mm. What with what I'm experiencing, mm. I cannot. I'm not as strong as some people are. Mm. So okay. for me, it's like I'm thankful that I don't have. If I had, there's a way to work around. You, you, that. you figure it out. Yeah. yeah. But for me, it's just been you know you come back from school. Yeah. You're studying. You don't have to be thinking about, oh, I have to make food for these people. Yeah. I have to make food for husband. For me, it can just be that, okay, I'm coming back from home. I'm going to stop at McDonald's. I'll pick up dinner. Pick up dinner. And that's or it. I might just say, okay, I'm just going to put a few chips in like the oven yeah. and do something. So for that, I would say it hasn't really affected me as much as... If you were married and you had to cater for that. Yeah. So I would say it's it's been easy mm. and hard mm. that you're coming home everything has stressed you out so <laughs> you be massaging your leg like. there's nobody, <laughs> there's okay. nobody there. okay. so like so it has like different dynamics that makes, right if you're single you can tackle it if you're married you can tackle it so in okay. that way all right okay moving on to some of the other questions I kind of came up with based off of that other question. Another question would be, what has it been like studying in Australia? What has it been like for you coming from a totally different educational system yeah. in Nigeria? By the way, Perpetua is Nigerian. Yes. If I didn't I mention am, that, we're Nigerian. from the same country, okay? Yeah. <laughs> so uh, what has it been like going from studying in Nigeria, in Nigeria and then studying here now? Okay. Um, How so different has it been? It's been very different. How? Okay. So, for example, I would say the educational system in Nigeria and this is like, first of all, you started school. Mm -hmm. You know when you're going to finish, like, a particular semester. Mm -hmm. Even if there are some unse unforeseen circumstances that happen, you know there's a timeline that is not shifting because of anything. Okay. Yeah. So, that was, that's definitely good. And then also here yeah, in Australia, Australia. Yeah. yeah. So you know, like, and I know this applies to private schools, schools as well. But in I'm Nigeria, just talking about general, general public, you know, public schools. schools. So in, for context, guys, there's like ASO strike in Nigeria sometimes where it delays people's studies. Yeah, they could be strike for like 
seven months or five months it just changes the whole time you're supposed to graduate and everything so yeah so for that definitely good mm. and it also i think for me would also be that you're moving from somewhere else mm. there's a different temperature sorry there's a different weather weather even if australia doesn't have the worst weathers yeah but it's still different from where i'm coming, coming from. from so you know with that in mind i came here in march it was cold. March last year, yeah. It was cold. <laughs> <laughs> it was cold. So, you know, with an inside out weather, I still have to go to class. You can't say because it's cold, I'm going to stay in my bed and, you know, things like that. So, for that, I would say, in terms of the educational system, there are, you know, the, the consistency of the school calendar. Mm, yeah. There is the support of your lecturers. You can basically, I can type an email now and say, okay, this is this thing that you explained to so and so day. I didn't understand it. it. I know in the next email he's going to send to me, there will be a consultation of say, oh, do you want to have a meeting? Let's discuss it. Tell me what you don't understand and I'll explain it. And I think that for me yes. was definitely, yes, Nigerian lecturers do, but you know when <laughs> you finally get a reply? <laughs> Even when you finally get a reply or maybe you say you want to go to, see the lecturer in the office he's not there at the time you get there even though that's like a office hour kind of thing Damn. so for me i would say it's good mm. and i'm enjoying yes. it the the kind of exams you do where it's like garbage in garbage out day off and i think this also has to do with the fact that i'm doing a master's so it's like you have to learn on your own you have to still do outside learning where you're doing like you've they've given you material sometimes you want to read something else or papers to say okay let me broaden what i know because it's not as if they'll ask if maybe they defined physics in mm. the question they're going to ask you what is physics no they would ask you something in terms of explaining your understanding of what you understand by what is physics not necessarily giving them oh this is this and this is that you have to like argue with yourself to mm. give like a consent um meaning or thinking to what you're writing about so so they want you to yeah. think yes and not then just... analyze what because sometimes you will now say in school back then i think the only time i did paperwork this might be different from people that are graduating this year or next year from nigeria university so <laughs> i might be wrong but when i was in school it's basically oh we've given you this thing to do mm -hmm. you have four questions and you're basically giving like cons like straightforward answers to the ag assignments, assignments and exams. Yeah. So that was different for me. People might have gone to school now that you're writing one one thousand five words mm. in Nigeria. Yeah. I didn't go through that, so that might be a, a dif different. That was a different thing for me having to write a paper of one thousand five words. That, the only time I did that was during projects. Uh, ah. Yeah. So here, yeah, so, there's there's a lot of that where they give you how many words you yeah. should write. Yeah, there's uh, like a, I think almost every do every you, assignment. You do you do, find that difficult, or I found it difficult in the very beginning. Beginning, yeah. Why? Why was that? Because I wasn't used to it, so, uh, so I wasn't expecting it as much. And that I think for me, that was one thing I really I do like about YouTube. Sometimes when it gives you like an idea of what you should be expecting, expecting. it might not give you a very like broad overview, but it kind of. And shows insight, you, yeah, yeah and thank an you an insight yeah. to what you expect. So for me, I wasn't expecting that, and it did take a while for me to like just, understand that and read meaning into every single thing. And, yeah. Okay. Thank yeah. you. Um, what has it been like studying in Utah's, like I University of still, Tasmania? Oh, it's been good. Good. Yeah. Um. Yeah, it's been it's been a good experience for me mm -hmm. because. Utah is a good school. Okay. The only thing I don't like about it is the money I'm paying. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, that is expensive. The That's money what I'm trying paying, to say. I'm not finding it funny. <laughs> but apart from that, I think it's it's been a good school. Good yeah, school, yeah. I've enjoyed I've enjoyed being there. Okay. Yeah. Did you tell us what you were studying at Utah? Um, so I'm doing a master's in business administration. administration. Yeah. The, school fees one. the school fees is what we don't like. Utah's is quite oh. expensive because I feel like it's kind of monopolized. Yes. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. School fees is shocking. It's expensive. Oh, yeah. That is what we can tell you. What That's else? Um, 
No, but another thing is okay. okay Feel so free to for, jump in if an idea pops in your head <laughs> at any point. Just okay, jump so in. So I am in context. Yeah, like to give you an idea is, um, for a semester, one unit is about four thousand something. I'm not exactly sure about the amount, but I know so, that four thousand in front of it, roughly four thousand. For a full time student, you have to pay for um, you have to do four units. So that four thousand something four by four. So yeah. So Sixteen thousand plus. It's expensive. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So. Um. That's per semester. How many months is your semester in, in Utah's? Um. How long do um, you study so for? So I started in February and I'm finishing in June. February yeah, included. Was it early Feb? Early, like mid February. So March, April, May, June. like four months. Yeah. So, yeah. but let me just say five months. So a semester yeah. is about, it's about five 13, months. Because about thirteen weeks. Ah, okay. Yeah, so 13, 13 weeks, weeks yeah. per semester. So, guys, yeah, in case we are looking here... Yeah. a bad way of me being a student. Child. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> why? why? <laughs> because in my, in my head, I'm like, I'm calculating it. Like, I know it's 13, 13 it's weeks. 13, 13 weeks, yeah. That's not... That's not too bad. Bad. And then you now have only... But that's like four months. And you now have only... Yeah. That's about right. And you There's have holiday. holiday. Yeah. How long is your holiday for? Um, so... For my next semester, and my next semester is after this particular one will be starting in September. So you finish so, your course in June, for yes, example, and, and then, then have, July, August. So you have like two months off, yeah. and then you start in September. Yeah. As yeah. students, well, guys, the rules will be changing in July. The hours you can work. But when you're on holiday, you can work full time. Oh, yes. You can work more than 48 hours per fortnight. Anyway, I have videos on that. So if you should go and check out those videos. Moving on, I want to ask something. How has it been like for you, like the campus experience? Because I feel like, you know, the way you uh, Utah has, there's no big campus. It's yeah. like everything is like satellite campus. Places. Has that affected yeah. your experience for, you know, like school experience where it's like, oh, you're going to the university. There's this massive building. Um, like structure okay. um so i think you get what, <laughs> I, no, I, do what, I do get what you mean yeah okay like for example now to utah's campus in hobart is in sandy bay yes i don't go to sandy, sandy bay, bay. <laughs> <laughs> because i don't have any classes you don't have any classes so there, i really right? don't have any reason to go there so and that is the main campus. campus so for me i would say my classes are in the small satellite um campuses yeah, yeah the campuses so i don't experience that bit yeah. about you know i the only reason why i go to sandy Bay is for library library yeah. ah. so i would say I, it hasn't really affected me in any way and i remember even like last semester mm. me and library were best friends <laughs> this semester i'm like i can't read in my room i'm good <laughs> So I've not really gone to the library this semester as much as I went last semester. It doesn't mean I haven't been you know, studying. studying. It yeah. just means that I found a place where I'm more comfortable Table. reading and I'm like, okay with it. So. Okay. Okay. Cool. Um, two things you like about your TAS. The student support. Okay. So student support is really good. Oh, they are yeah. on top of things. They check like they up are. on you. I feel like. Is there own too much? Do they overdo? <laughs> Oh, you feel like it's just <laughs> enough. I feel, I feel like they overdo. Uh huh. But it's better it's than not doing. It's thank you. It's better than not, not doing. doing at all, right? Because I remember when I first moved here, mm -hmm. I didn't have a place. Yeah. I came in with the. I had looked for a place before I moved here, mm -hmm. but I couldn't find something yeah. while I was still back home. Mm. So what happened was in my head, I'm like, okay, I'll get Airbnb for mm -hmm. the first few months. months. I didn't want to stay in student campus. Okay. So. I wasn't attending class because I'm stressed with going for inspections and things like that. So I remember calling the student and then I had a sprain. Oh, <laughs> you sprained your ankle? I sprained my ankle. Oh boy. Welcome to the I club. Fell, I fell off, not fell off. I yeah. like, missed a step on the staircase Ooh. and I kind of twisted my ankle. So I had that. So I called the student union to explain, no, the student Support. services, uh -huh. to explain to them that I'm not coming to class because I'm, I'm not struggling. doing access because I'm not, I'm struggling with accommodation. I'm doing this. And then they were like, do you want an extension uh -huh. for your assessments? assessments? And I was like, can I get that? And she was like, yes, I just need to go to the, um, a GP, a GP uh -huh. and get a note to say 
my legs really aching and you know if they can do something about my leg and also give me a report to give to school mm-hmm. which i did mm-hmm. because the leg was not, not ah no it was it was painful ah, i couldn't know. like walk, walk. For about it's not as bad as i'm making it sound it's as bad please <laughs> but i've experienced it before see guys i'm looking for, let's never go into but it it wasn't it wasn't as bad as i'm making it sound or it might not be as bad as some people would think a sprain would be it is painful i, I was sprained twice to... same you ankle sure? yeah i wasn't able to walk for a week plus <laughs> i couldn't put weight on the leg. leg see it's not even as if i could walk partially the first day it happened, I was like, oh, I'm still good. Uh, I didn't feel the pain till the next day. Uh-huh. I woke up, my neck touched the ground. I was like, oh, mm-hmm. no. And it was like so sore. So, yeah. So after, and that was like this, the first time the f- I was having a spray, spray. But the first time was a fracture. So I had a fracture on that leg before <laughs> when nothing <laughs> happened and my leg just couldn't move. <laughs> I didn't have a fall, nothing else. I just woke up, my leg couldn't move. But that that's by the way. But ah, then I got the student oh, after oh, just about that we had the it's okay, continue. So I had um so I had the went to the GP, I got a note, sent that to the school, I got an extension for some an extension for some assessment. Yeah. And I just felt like and then they sent me options for where to get houses. Okay. Like, oh, I that's like nice. That that's like, nice. They, they gave me a number for someone that could help me out. In terms did of my help? accommodation, oh, they did, but that was not how I got to my house. <laughs> they, they sent me like options to look at. They sent me like, okay, these are our hostels are filled up, but these are options that you can, you can have. have. They sent me like um link to flatmates. Um, oh, okay, yeah, Gumtree, gum tree and um, Facebook open retail. I mean, retail open. I'm not sure. Okay, real estate. Real estate. Sorry. Real estate. Yeah, <laughs> they sent me like links for those ones to say, just look at these. You might find something. <laughs> Tanya, I was very impressed. It's a wahoo. I was, hey! I was very impressed. Go to better it. school. Don't go to the school that <laughs> I went to. Yeah, <laughs> because so, like you know, they did. They, they did, did well to help me out. Even at the point, like they would, they called. I think after like a week, they called to find out if you were doing you do. well. Like, oh, that's leg nice. So I feel like for that, I did feel like you were welcomed oh that's i mean i think that at the point this and i when she called me i was like oh i'm really struggling and then she sent me this this might not be mental health not mental she did (laughs) 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 mental health is a serious thing the other sent me we're laughing but yeah stress of me being in a new country yeah and you know with my injury and by myself if you need someone to talk to this is the number and i'm like Who's going to do that for you? Like, like yeah. who said you have to How is that my business? <laughs> Come to so class. Like, for me, I felt like that was like really was good. good. Yeah. Oh, so, nice. and then they sent like a calendar of each week what I, um, I should write, like what courses are due that week ah. and how to plan my time and things. So, I did appreciate the student support. So, mm. for that, I would definitely say. see disclaimer. If you don't experience this, I'm really sorry, but like I experienced it. She got the good yeah, side so, of yeah, the student say, support and everything. Me, that was really good. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Okay. I enjoyed that. Cool, cool, cool. Do this. Okay. So, guys, if you watch up to this point and you have not subscribed, no, tell me why are you why are you like this. We're bringing hey, premium content. Please tell them. Please so, subscribe and like and like the video. Like, like the video, it goes a long way. Share it with somebody. Don't be selfish, okay? Now we'll continue to the next question. Okay. Um, two to three things you don't. Uh, you told us one thing, which was student support, but that's I think is no. Enough. Okay. Um, what else would you like? What? Let's touch on it quickly. Okay, you have like a good library. You good have, like, library computers to use if you're wait wait are you like in like, nigeria that's no, like, no, that's saying... like bro, that's <laughs> no see uh, i feel i'm not going to say about every school because okay. i have not been to every school, school in nigeria which school did you go in nigeria I was it a public school it was not it was a private school. A private school. Uh, uh, no, no, cast them. I'm not sure. <laughs> 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 we'll not, we'll not no, cast them. No. So there was no computer in they your did, library. They did. They, they did have, but the yeah. thing is, there are not plenty. Okay, so everybody's fighting so for when you when you, like a good number of people are there, they occupy it. So <sighs> you people should do better. So, but I mean, you have like access to the books you need. Even if you don't have access to them, there's is a it here or here? Here, okay. So you have like a 
student discount for buying some kind of books and things like that so. and also journals you don't have to like if you need a journal for an assignment you don't have to like pay for it Wait, what's sometimes journal? like a book like you know all those articles that you know. oh yeah 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 you, know, you know have articles. Articles. like you yeah, have you access right. to, to some, some of them uh, published pay, published yeah. materials, yeah. Okay. Well, oh, that would have been a better thing for me to say published material. But it doesn't. No, yeah, materials. okay. <laughs> they get it. <laughs> um, two to three things. Things you don't like about studying in Utah as, as an international student. What the is... money. <laughs> we are back to this I've matter. Said it before the money, the money, is, like the money is, is a lot. It's um, a lot. To be fair, yeah. The money. I think that's like the one thing. Mm. Okay. And. I will not say the workload because your student is supposed to do work to work so, to study, right? That's like do, do you think? Because I get this question a lot, where people are asking me, can they juggle studying and working? Like not not juggle studying and working. Can they pay their school fees on their own as a single person, not someone that has a partner now? Yeah. Because you know, if you have a partner, your partner can work, work full time. Yeah. You can work as a student. But then the money will come together, right? Yeah. Hopefully, like it's enough. But as a student, and a single, single student, is it possible? Like now, I feel like maybe a few years ago, yes. Like now with economy and inflation, do you think somebody can, you know, struggle and work a lot during holidays and have almost enough or like just right amount for okay. for them to afford their in school this, fees? In this situation now. Eh? Okay. <laughs> I feel like if I'm answering it, I have to use myself Self. for example. Yeah. So for in my case, mm -hmm. what I did was I called student service. As I usually I'm bragging about <laughs> them now. So I called them and I was like, okay, I can pay this amount now. Mm -hmm. Mind the payment plan. Okay. Okay. So they were like, okay, so what do you think you could can work with? Mm. So I told them, can I pay this amount every mm -hmm. month? Every or month. Every two weeks. And then they we're like, okay. Uh -huh. If you pay this amount every two weeks. If you might not cover it for the period till the end of, of the semester, right? like the end of beginning of exams. Oh, so you have to pay off before exams. Yeah. So that was what I was told. So I was like, okay, so how much would I need to pay every fortnight for me to cover it? And you're like, okay, this amount. So that okay. was what happened Good with you. because I'm see there are people that cover it too, mm. but I believe in work life balance though. Yeah, I want to have a life as well as I'm studying. studying so, to um, be fair. for me, I wanted that because I'm an advocate for mental health. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, um, so I we had that worked out where I'm paying a particular amount every fortnight. Night. There are people that work and can make that. Okay. And you know, it's possible. It is possible. Okay. So for me, I just felt like that made sense for me to do it that way where? so i had a, a payment plan where we had discussed this is how much you need to pay every fortnight for you to cover the amount yes, and when i looked is. at it i was like i think this is possible, possible for me to do so yeah i think it's very it's possible it's possible there are people okay. that have paid their school fees in before the they beginning. start i'm telling you so, i don't know how to do it I don't but know yeah how they do it, but so guys if you're taking anything out to answer that burning questions I, question i get sometimes Yes, can you afford your school fees? It is possible. Another thing that Perpetua has said now that I would like you to take out of this, if you don't take anything, you can set up a payment plan. Yeah. yeah. So, guys, uh, you can set up, depending on the school you are going to, you can call student support and ask, is it possible for me to set up a payment plan, whether I want to pay every fortnight, every month, or something, just so you cover your school fees. Also, keep in mind, you have to pay all your school fees before exams. You cannot start your exams if you've not paid school fees, okay? So that is something to keep in mind, yes. yeah? All right, moving on. This video is going to be long. I hope you guys will watch it. Uh, the next, next question. So you, you, you said you liked... Um, student affairs. Uh, uh, things you did like, school fees, the money. But I feel like that's <laughs> like the only thing that's the I can major like, think thing. of it right now. Would you say I you didn't have any other thing, that, thing that, that stood out to you? Okay. So yeah. what advice do you have for new students? International students. Like what advice would you give them? Trying people trying to adjust to 
the school system, life here, weather, everything. What advice would you give someone that is coming into Australia as a foreigner? Uh, what should they look out for or something like that? <laughs> I put okay. You on the <laughs> okay, I feel in, in terms of advice, I'll just say um, the things that work for A does not no, work, always work, work for, for B. B. Fair enough, yes. Yeah, that would be something that I would say. Mm. Take advice, so don't. I'm not saying like if someone tells you, oh, this is how you should do it, that that's wrong. I'm just saying sometimes it doesn't work for you mm. as a person. Like, let me say, for example, now in the mornings it's cold mm -hmm. and you wake up in the morning and maybe you're very good at reading in the morning before, yeah but now you can't do that because it's cold mm. you have to look for another way that suits you maybe you would say okay in the evenings where it's a bit cooler mm -hmm. you could decide oh let me do that time so what i would say is in terms of every single thing research research right not just not just the country as a whole but where you're going going to, to yes yeah guys. because I, I also i always whenever i watched like youtube videos before i moved here that's I your cue to i see watch my youtube be watching videos. videos about places i want <laughs> that we're not going to <laughs> melbourne <laughs> but then i feel like there are a lot of there. people here yeah, in tasmania yeah, that are doing that, videos it's not even about like just make research about where you're going. where you're going Where's okay the, what is the weather, weather like what's the um the general population Nation. And not in terms of number. I mean, how are they with you know foreigners? Not, not foreigners. Not foreigners. In terms of like accessibilities, uh, like how accessible are they to things? How far is your school, school? If you have to commute, and also, please don't move to Australia without having a plan for your accommodation. <laughs> <laughs> Coming close out, <laughs> guys. Did you hear, Mamesha? I have please a plan for your accommodation. It. It's not so you are not stranded, guys. I shout this if a you lot. You need to find, find Allah, but don't come here without having it. Accommodation is not a joke. Mm -hmm. You need to make sure you have accommodation. Yes. Okay. Yeah. That's it. So, guys, um, this video would have another part because I feel like it's getting too long. So, on that note, we'll be ending this video here. You guys should stay tuned. Watch out for part two if you are not. Thank you all for watching. Bye. Bye. Tell them to. And please subscribe, like, comment, and share. Thank you very much. Oh my much. god, I need to. I need to learn this more. more. I need to be your sister. I will share. So guys, I hope you guys have enjoyed please this video so far. The video. It has been interesting filming so far. I've enjoyed yeah. it. I'm having fun. So we're going to do part two now because I don't want it to be too long. I hope you guys have picked a few things from here. Part two is going to be a continuation. If you see us wearing the same thing, just carry your eyes away. You do not see anything. Excuse you. So thank you all so, so much for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Subscribe, like, share, comment, and everything. Yes, and please. we'll see you all in our next... If you want Papetra to come back, see, this thumbs up. How many thumbs up should I ask for? Give <laughs> If I see like 20 thumbs up and ask the questions you want Papetra to come back and answer, yes? Leave them in the comment section. Okay. Yeah? All right. Thank you all for tuning in. I'll see you all in my next video. Bye. Bye.